Hey, so you guys ask, why is it called a funeral parlor? So a parlor was a room in a home where you received your guests back in the day. You know, the formal room used to be called a parlor. Around the time of the influenza outbreak in the early 1900s, bodies weren't able to be buried fast enough, so they had to stay in the home. They laid them out in the most logical room, which was the parlor. Probably had a cooling board table there, tried to keep the body as cool as possible. But then on the flip side, you needed a space to hang out, which became your living room. It often had the family's most valued furniture, a fireplace, that formal, stuffy, sometimes uncomfortable furniture. The parlor also often had windows that were dressed by heavy drapes, open during the day, closed at night to keep the insulation in because houses didn't have as much insulation. Now later, funerals transitioned to the funeral parlor or the funeral home after the Civil War. And it didn't just happen overnight, it was decades of a chain shift in happening. That formal room, a parlor wasn't needed as much and that's why living rooms existed. They were functional and were the place that you greeted your guests. I remember growing up, we still had, we had a living room that was more formal, no TVs in there and then we had our kind of hangout room for the kids and stuff. And this was in the 70s, early 80s. So things definitely don't shift very quickly. But then you can see why when it transitioned to the funeral home, people still called it the funeral parlor because that parlor was the place that the deceased was laid out. The name just carried on, moved over to the funeral home where you went to see the people laid out after they had died.